Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we'll continue our code refactoring discussion in Selenium Python framework, which is very, very important aspect of optimizing your code and making it more maintainable, right? So in the last tutorial, we have refactored this particular page, launch page, right? Now, if we go to the test case, as I have mentioned previously, why do we need all these four details here, right? I mean, I can just have one single method which handles the search flights, right? So a single method in the page class, which handles providing the depart from going to providing the date and clicking on the search button so can i do or can i have a common method so that whenever i want to search any flights based on any dates i simply have to call that method in my test case and it will be just single line with the arguments that i want to pass and search the flights accordingly which is a better approach so how can we achieve it and this will reduce like four lines that you see here the four calls that we have made to these methods so in the launch page we can simply create a new method right so i can say search flights right and as part of this method what we want to provide we, in order to search flight we have to provide the depart from location then going to location date and then click right so i can simply provide depart departure date Oh, sorry departure location and then going to location then i will provide the date so departure date and these three arguments when i call this particular search flight method i'll simply pass and then this this should give me the results accordingly right now in this particular method now because i have these methods already enter depart depart from location depart going to location i can simply call these methods here right so i can simply say self dot enter depart from location right and what this will take argument as it will take an argument depart location right and because if you see this particular method at the top this takes depart location right then going to method takes going to location and departure date takes departure date right and then finally we are going to click so the next method when we say enter going to location and i'll provide going to argument there and then i want to provide departure date right so i'll say enter departure date and provide the argument departure date there right and finally we will say self dot click on search flights button right so all the four operations that are required to search a flight on this particular application are tied up to this particular search flights method right now we just have to make sure that this particular method is not repeated anywhere yeah that's fine so i think this is touch test search flights just to avoid any conflicts and this one this method is um, this class name is launch page right so now instead of in the test case instead of using all these four methods here I can simply call the search flights method right and what it takes it takes depart location going to location and departure date right as an argument so in the argument list I can simply provide all of them comma separated at once so going to and the departure date right and rest everything is commented now all right so now instead of all these lines here you can see that i'm able to handle searching of the flights in just one line and with just one method so if any person who is very new to automation even if they want to use the search flight functionality they just want to they just need to understand how to call these methods and what arguments need to be passed right so that's the whole advantage of it people do not need to be very very technical once you have the good framework ready they can start working on your automation framework right and you do not need any of the paid tools at all once you have good framework ready that can handle all the complexities from the, the overall overall testing okay so let's go ahead and uh, try to run it and this should also run exactly the same way and give me the exact same results as we found previously so it's opening the page providing the depart from location going to select the date and clicked on search flight right there is no difference at all in the end result of this particular scrolling it will filter based on the stops and then verify that all the results are displaying one stop so it has failed which is expected because there is a verification failure right so one of the stop has the blank and that's why it has failed which is expected okay so now we do not need any of these calls
calls here okay so now you can see that we just have a couple of lines left in our test case right which is much much easy to understand and maintainable right i'm as part of my test case what i'm doing i'm just searching the flight and then basically filtering the flight results based on one stop and verifying whether the results being displayed are one stop right so that's what i need in my test case why do i need all the details that i can move to other classes in the page object design pattern into my test class right so that's the whole advantage of the automation framework and stay tuned there is a lot more coming in this series and by end of this series i'm pretty sure you will find a lot of value for yourself self-growth and your projects that you are working on so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching